Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the start of a new weekly vlog. I am sitting here in my famous floor spot with Miss Riley. Hello, look at her neck. Flip around. I'm here with Miss Riley and, oh, hello. Riley, can you sit up? Can you say hi? Say hello. I'm here with Miss Riley and we are gonna kick today's vlog off with some unboxing because I just got in some packages that I ordered and I'm really excited because one of them's from Mango and I got this really cool jacket that I've been waiting all week for. And then the other thing is from Glossy. I just got the two new cloud paint shades in and I need to film an actual video for that. So I wanted to go ahead and unbox all that stuff. I'm trying to think about what there is to update. Not that much has been going on this week. I did get this super cute little tripod. I'll show you guys. Look at this tiny ring light. So I ended up getting that little ring light for my phone so that I can record like reels and makeup stuff for Instagram. And it's honestly the perfect size. It's so cute. I'll be sure to link it down below. I know a lot of y'all have been wanting to start YouTube channels or do more like Instagram stuff. And I really, really like this ring light. I bought off of Amazon and it works amazing. So I'll link it down below. Yes, I do have it turned away from me. I like it turned away from me because when I face it at me, it gets like blinding and then also it can be really harsh light. So pro tip, if you get a ring light and you bounce the light away from you off of a wall, it will look much more natural, much softer. You guys probably didn't even know I had a ring light right here until I showed you guys. Anyway, um, what's new? Thanksgiving's coming up, which is crazy. I was thinking I had so much more time to film like Black Friday deal content and I don't. So today I'm filming a huge Glossier giveaway video, which I did this last year and you guys really loved it. And I love doing these giveaways because I just want to say thank you to you guys. And a way that I really like to say thank you is by doing a giveaway that actually should be up by the time that this video is up. So if you're watching today's vlog, be sure to go to my page and see if the Glossier giveaway is up. You'll know it will say like huge Glossier giveaway, but I guess that's it. I'm going to go ahead and unbox these things because I just really want to see what this mango jacket looks like. There's a huge mango sale that was going on and I'm sure they'll have a big Black Friday sale going on as well, but I scored this jacket on like super sale. So I, I'm really excited. Did Thanksgiving like really sneak up on y'all? I know not everyone celebrates Thanksgiving depending on where you live, but um, it snuck up on me so fast. I thought I had so much time before Thanksgiving to do like, like I said, like Black Friday and holiday content. I guess people start holiday content like October, but I'm just always behind. I feel like people were putting up their Christmas trees on literally November 1st. And as much as I want to do that, I just don't know how I feel about putting Christmas tree up that early. I guess it's really fun. If we did a fake tree, I feel like Jason and I might like put it up early, but we really like to get the real trees. And I don't know if there are even real trees available yet. And if they are, I feel like they would definitely die by the end of December because we're the type of people who leave it up until like mid-January. So anyway, I haven't put my tree up yet. I haven't decorated for Christmas at all. I didn't even really decorate for fall. I only have like a few decorations. You guys know our place is super small, so there's not really any place to like store decorations. So it's really hard to like decorate when you don't have any place to put it after you take it all down. So we do have some Christmas stuff. We had like some ceramic pumpkins, but that was really it for fall decorations. We'll definitely decorate for Christmas. We are going to Michigan for Christmas this year to be with Jason's family, which I'm really excited about because hopefully it will snow and I just love a white Christmas. So last time we were up there, which wasn't last year but the year before our first Christmas as a married couple it snowed on Christmas Day and I think I actually have like a Christmas vlog y'all can check that out but I yeah I just really want it to snow on Christmas so that's like my one wish for 2020 like please please have a white Christmas that's all I really want this year but um yeah I feel like this year has gone by so fast I feel like Thanksgiving is right around the corner and then before we know it y'all it's gonna be Christmas and yeah that just is like so exciting but also I get so overwhelmed I feel like when the year goes by really fast I'm like did I get to appreciate it did I really take the time to like soak in every season 
and of course like when you look back on it you're like oh it went by so fast but i think i did appreciate every season pretty well maybe fall fall was a little rough but um it was beautiful here anyway it's almost winter which is why i got this coat so First box though is a PR package. I am really, really excited because I was added to the Rare Beauty PR list, which is so cool. This is Selena Gomez's makeup brand. And if you guys watched my Rare Beauty first impressions video, I spent all my money, not all my money, but I spent my money on all of those products in that video. So that video was not sponsored in any way. I literally got up early that morning, went to Sephora, picked out all my shades and bought it. And so I did an honest review and I guess they maybe saw that video because I put it out, I think like the day after the brand launched and there were tons of like paid reviews about the brand, but my review was just super transparent because I spent my hard earned money on it. So it's actually really fun that they found that video because I was hoping that maybe they would see it and they did, which is really, really cool. I feel like there's a lot of power in YouTube when you put out a video and then a brand like sees it, which is really Really cool so this is from rare beauty and i think they meant to send this a while ago like when these products launched the eyeshadows but it got lost in the mail and so i am getting this pretty late so this product has been out for quite some time now but i thought i would open up with you guys anyway this is what the rare beauty box looks like it says this is makeup made to feel good and without hiding what makes you unique so a little poster yes it's a poster i don't think i will be hanging this poster but on the back there is information about these products about this um eyeshadow palette so there's two eyeshadow palettes which i will show you guys and I think they're each $25, and they are very interesting palettes. I feel like these eyeshadow palettes are gonna be really hit or miss depending on how they swatch and if I like them, but there's a lot of like greens and yellows and blues and purples, and you guys know I'm like a neutral, neutral kind of gal, so I don't know if I'll use them a lot, but I'm really intrigued and I might stretch myself to use them since I have them. I feel like maybe it'd be fun to do a different type of eye look since I do normally wear very consistent makeup. Anyway, I feel like once you got a good thing going though, like why switch it up? But it might be fun. So inside the box is this little pouch. It says Rare Beauty on it. And then we've got two eyeshadow palettes. Pretty. We have the, which one is this one? This is the Magnetic Spirit Palette and the Confident Energy Palette. I've been seeing a lot of promo about these palettes kind of since they launched and so I'm really, really intrigued by them. I like the packaging a lot of the box. Let's see if I can get it open. Oh, here we go. So this one is the kind of pink palette, lots of rosy pink shades and this one this one came broken well you guys can kind of see i don't want to tip it because it's broken but really really pretty like deep purple shades and then there's like an orange and a purple i'm really sad this is broken i'm gonna see what i can do there because i really do want to try these out i'm gonna try oh i just like spilt a ton of that on my coffee table oh no it's very soft pigment that's good but i need to clean that up now um this is the other one though and this one hopefully is not broken we've got someone leaf blowing outside well i tried to like clean up that eyeshadow while the leaf blower guy was here and um the good news is that it's really pigmented the bad news is that it left so much glitter on my coffee table so i need to like re-wipe that down but um, this is the green palette. This is the Confident Energy palette. And I really like the casings of these palettes. I think they're actually really pretty. It's a really, really good mirror on the inside. This one is not broken. It says, you are rare. And then this is like the colors. So really, really pretty. I want to just swatch this, this shade. Really pigmented. Look at that. Barely touched that. So... Ooh, that is a pretty shade. So I am really excited to play with that green one. And like I said, I'm going to reach out to them and see if I can maybe get a new palette. I mean, they were so nice to send me these ones already. I feel really bad like asking for one that's not broken, but they're really, really sweet. And all I do is like DM them on Instagram and they have gotten back to me before. So I might just reach out on Instagram and see if they can send me a new one because based on that green palette, I really like the formula of it. It's like really pigmented and soft shadows. So I really want 
the I want the pink palette because I honestly feel like the broken one is the one that I would use the most But let's move on to the Glossier box. This is the new cloud paint shades and I ended up purchasing these immediately when I got an email that morning that they had launched these. I didn't even know that these were getting launched. And so when I saw the email, I was like, oh, I have to get them because Cloud Paint is truly one of my favorite, favorite products from Glossier. I think it's one of their strongest products and they just look so good and they're so easy to wear. And so I wanted to show you guys the two new shades. I'm not gonna put them on because I'm about to film an actual video, like swatching them and trying them on. But I do want to show you guys the shades here. We have two new shades of cloud paint in the shade Spark and Eve. So this one, this is what the packaging of cloud paint looks like. I love their cloud paints. And you pull this out here. So this is the shade Spark and it is like a red shade and maybe I should just swatch these for y'all. You barely squeeze literally any of it and I'll just put it on the back of my hand. Oh, this is so I love cloud paint. The formula, the blendability of it. Is blendability a word? It is now. This is the shade Spark. It is this beautiful red, rosy, rosy red. And then this is the shade Eve, which is this like purpley undertoned, like deep mauve. It's really, really pretty. I think I'm gonna really like Eve. Again, barely squeezing the tube here. And we're just gonna pat this out on the skin. I think I actually didn't get enough that time. Oh, that's really pretty as well. So this is the shade Eve right here, this purpley, like dusty purple almost, dusty purpley mauve. And then this is Spark, which is this beautiful, beautiful rosy red. I actually really like this one. This might be a little deep for me, but I feel like it could be really pretty on my cheeks, but I think this is gonna be a universally really pretty shade. So I'm really excited to do my video of these, like actually trying them on with the giveaway. I need to wash my hands and my fingers because I have cloud paint on them now. Okay. Hands are clean, so now we can get into the clothing. I ended up ordering three pieces from Mango. Only two of them are here. I have one more coming in the mail, which is the shirt jacket that I'm really excited about, but I got two of them and one of them's a jacket and I'm pumped. So the first piece that I got is a blouse though. I really wanted to get something that was like patterned for fall that I could wear maybe on Thanksgiving and I actually really like this. So I got this in an extra small and I really I really love this pattern, this like brown floral pattern. I really like the colors in it. It is a high neck blouse. I thought this would look so good tucked into denim, just very casually with like a nice boot on. It's got these great ruffles in the front. I don't know if you guys can see. And this one is a sheer top, so I probably will have to wear some sort of tank underneath it because you can see through it. But I would say this runs very wide. Like this is an extra small, so it does fit very oversized. So I would definitely recommend maybe sizing down. I'll have to try it on just to confirm, but it does run super oversized. I just really love this floral pattern and I'm excited to try this one on because I thought this would be so cute for the holidays. All right, I take it back what I said about the sizing. Get your size because the way that this fits is incredible. It is meant to look like this. It's meant to be oversized and loose and flowy. I mean, look at these sleeves. If you guys have never shopped at Mango, I would highly recommend it for someone who loves Madewell. I would say Mango is up there in the quality and their pieces are really, really unique. There's some polished stuff. They have great blazers, jackets, sweaters. I have never worked with Mango. I buy all my stuff from Mango and I've never bought anything from there that I haven't really loved. So this top, so good. I am so glad I got this because I was thinking about maybe not getting it because I was like, I don't wear a ton of blouses in the winter, but this is the perfect Thanksgiving day blouse. I love it. The colors, the pattern, the fit, so good. And now the moment we've all been waiting for, the jacket that I ordered. I don't know if you guys have ever ordered from Mango before, but I really love Mango. I've gotten some of the coolest pants from Mango. I've gotten some great sweaters from them. And so this is the jacket and it is awesome. So this is not, I don't think this is real leather and it's definitely not real uh, shearling on the inside, but it's this like motorcycle-y oversized jacket. And I just thought this would be so cute. It's so different than anything that I have. And 
I just love the silver detailing on it. So I need to pull off all of these little protective tabs. They do a really good job of packaging their stuff. I will say like this shipped really, really well. It also shipped really fast. I ordered stuff from H&M the same day that I ordered this in that stuff hasn't even left like the warehouse yet. This stuff came in within like a week of me ordering it. So Mako did a really good job of getting this to me. But this jacket is so good. I got this 30% off. Like I said, I got it on a really good deal. And I love the way that it looks opened up. This is probably the way that I will wear it. I got an extra small. I don't think they have extra, extra small, but I got an extra small. Is this not gorgeous? Oh, I love it. The sleeve, so good. This inside lining, so soft. I think I got this for like $130 maybe. And it was originally like almost a $200 jacket. I think that's right. I don't know if that's totally right, but I'm pretty sure that's why I paid. I guess I can check my, do I have a receipt in here? Oh, I got this jacket for $104. That's really good. Cause it is honestly an incredible, incredible jacket. I think originally it's like 160 or 170. I'm gonna try it on now though. Cause I'm obsessed with this. All right, so this is the mango jacket and it is honestly incredible. I love it. The detail on the sleeve and all of this is so good. Of course, like it's not real leather. So the quality is really good for $100. It's definitely not able to compete with an actual like genuine leather jacket. But for the price, I think this is really, really good. I really love it. And I've got it paired with my Madewell hoodie underneath it. So I actually kind of like this look. This actually works. I would just like tuck this up, throw like a cute sneaker on or a really cute boot. Honestly, probably gonna wear this to dinner tonight. So really, really happy. I am actually so in love with this top. I think it looks so good. I love the neck. I love it unbuttoned like this. I need to get filming my other video because I am celebrating my cousin's birthday tonight. We are doing dinner with her. So I need to get moving so that I can leave for that. But I wanted to ask you guys here on YouTube because I just asked my Instagram friends, but I am looking for a really good quality pair of leather styled pants. They don't have to be real leather, but mostly I just want a pair that are going to fit really well that are really good quality that aren't gonna like peel. I just don't want a pair that I'm gonna have to replace in like three or six months. So if you guys have any good recommendations for a really sleek black pant, that would be so helpful. I feel like buying pants online is pretty daunting, especially a lot of the brands that I really like don't have leather pants. So I don't know sizing for a lot of these other brands that do carry like a really good leather pant. So anyway, if you guys can leave me a comment down below and help me out, that would be very much appreciated. I've always wanted to jump on the leather pant trend. I don't even know if it's a trend. I feel like it's been around long enough to not be a trend, but I love the look of them. I would really love to like style this with like a leather pant or that jacket. So leave me a comment down below if you have any good recommendations because I would just really like some sort of direction to look in with these because I feel like I've checked out so many different websites and I don't know sizing and I don't know what's better than what. And so anyway, if you guys can help me, I'd love that. All right, it's the next day and today I am gonna be filming a video. Um, I'm doing a little video collab with my friend Amelia on Instagram where we are gonna show you guys how to style combat boots. So I'm gonna be styling up my Doc Martens and I've laid out my outfits. I'm gonna be styling up three looks. So I've got two of the three right here. I am also gonna be filming my Glossier favorites today. So I have a giant makeup bag full of Glossier products. I did one of these this time last Last year right before black friday to prep you guys for the sale they only do one sale a year and it's on black friday and they do like 20 percent off of everything so i wanted to do another one of those favorite videos so you guys would know my favorite products and what to get during this sale and that also reminds me my 500 hundred dollar glossier giveaway just went live so that should be up by the time you guys are watching this video so be sure to enter that before i leave i haven't put any blush on because i wanted to do a little first impressions test of the cloud paint in Eve for that Glossier $500 giveaway video. I tested out the shade Spark, which is the other new Glossier Cloud Paint shade, but I wanted to do a little test run of this on my face with my makeup on. So I'm going to apply that, get dressed, and head out for the day. I forgot to mention what I'm also doing today is going to TJ Maxx 
to get a cute gift box because Mikel and I are doing another collab video and we are gonna be sending each other our favorite things basically, like a little gift exchange. And so we're in the middle of working on that video. I already have my favorite things picked out for her. I just need to get a cute box so that I can ship it. But I'm gonna go to TJ Maxx today, take you guys with me. And then our friends in our Bible study, some of our friends just got a house. So they just moved in this last weekend and I wanted to get them like a little housewarming gift. I feel like I can get all that at TJ Maxx because I feel like TJ Maxx has like everything. This is so pretty. This is my first time ever trying Eve out. This is really gorgeous. I'm gonna do some on my nose. That's my blush trick to apply some of it to your nose. Look how pretty that is. Don't I just look so much more alive? I really, really like Eve. It has like this really pretty, kind of like plum undertone to it. I think it's gorgeous. It just looks so natural. You guys know I love cloud paint, but that was a little demo of Eve. I know I was only able to apply one shade of cloud paint in my first impressions video of the new shades, but I wanted to show you guys what it looked like on and I really, really like this shade. I think this looks so good. All right, so this is my outfit of the day. I've got on my Madewell leather jacket. This is my first time wearing it this year and I forgot how much I love this jacket. I have got it paired with a Madewell sweater, Madewell perfect vintage jean, and then my Doc Martens. I told Jason that this year I was trying to like take my style from classic to like a little bit edgy. I want to like toe the line between the two. So this is what we've got going on. It's not like grunge edgy. It's just like classic edgy polished polished edgy. This happens literally every time. Every time I go to leave, boxes are on the front porch and I get so curious. So I feel like we need to open these up because I think these might be some clothes and I'm just very curious of what's in here. All right, first one we're gonna open up is from Michael Stars and I have worn their pieces before so I do know about this brand. The other box, the big box, is what I don't know about, so we're gonna open that one second. Save the best for last. I always feel like I owe it to you guys to show you what comes in the mail at this point. You guys really like seeing it, so I would feel really bad not showing you guys anymore. All right, we got a Michael Stars box. Ooh -hoo -hoo. I'm getting really warm, I'm gonna take this off. I'm like sweating now. All right, first piece, cute little short sleeve top. It's like linen. I love this material. Really cute. Really like the color. This would be really great with a cardigan. Super, super soft, cozy. These are some sweatpants. So cute. Just some gray sweatpants. Love that. And I'll try all of these on. I'm gonna show you guys everything and then I'll try it on for you, just rapid fire. Um, what is this? What is it? It's a cowl, I think it's called cowl neck tank, black really cute honestly could wear it over a sweater but um it has like that little scoopy neck cute and then the last thing in here is sweater Ooh, this feels really really nice i love the ribbed texture on this the quality is great really cute tan it is a crop fit so i love that little puffy sleeve great color and then it has this almost mock neck but not quite it's a crew neck but it's like a high crew neck really love that all right so this is the green top and i actually really like the sleeves on it i went and tucked it in just in the front but i probably would wear it tucked in all the way around really good color i love this fabric honestly this is like a really good spring summer shirt i'm not positive it's like to me a fall winter piece but I actually have a shirt that's just like this that I have been looking for like a dupe of or not a dupe because it's not actually that nice of a shirt. I'll show you. So I got this shirt from my friend at a closet sale and I have been looking for a shirt that is similar to this to link for you guys because you guys always ask me about the shirt. But also it's just a good throw on shirt for the summer and I feel like I just found it honestly. Like this is very similar in the fit. Very like boxy and loose and similar fabric as well so i feel like i just found the shirt all right so this is the cowl neck top and i probably would need to wear it with some sort of strapless bra or like sticky boobs but i think this is so cute with like a black booty and i actually really like it with blue denim 
This looks really good with my docs. I feel like this is honestly an outfit by itself. Definitely not with the bra that I have on, but I think it's really cute. Could throw a cardigan on over it or even my leather jacket, I feel like would look good over this. I really like the neckline on it though, the drapiness of that. So cute. All right, so this is the cream sweater and I really like the length of it because all you have to do is just tuck this front part in and I feel like it was literally made to be tucked in. So really, really cute. I love the ribbing. Great, just cream sweater, really good quality, really thick. Feels like it honestly will last a really long time. Like it's not gonna pill up. So really like it. All right, so these are the sweatpants and I love these. Look at this really fun detail on the pocket. I think that just makes them really different. I also love the white stitching up against the gray. Really, really cute, very soft. I am obsessed with these. You guys know I love joggers and sweatpants and all of the loungewear, so really, really like these. I also have not been able to stop wearing these True & Co bras since I got them in the summer and I would highly recommend them to anybody. They are literally the most comfortable things ever. There's no wires in them and they're really flattering, but more importantly, they are so comfy. Okay, this outfit's kind of a vibe. I'm into it. I was actually very wrong about the second box. This is actually from a brand called Faze and I think I got them confused with a different PR company. I feel like I get emails all the time and I get them confused. <laughs> anyway, this is actually like a travel brand and this is from Shay Mitchell, I believe is her name. She was on Pretty Little Liars and she has a travel brand with like luggage and weekender bags and makeup bags and all that stuff. So they sent over a carry-on for me to unbox with you guys. So inside the box it says, we've all got baggage. Glad it's Baze. It's B-E-I-S, but it's pronounced Baze, I think. I'm pretty sure. I looked it up on YouTube. Inside the box, this thing was very heavy. Not like very, very heavy, but like, I was like, what could be in this box? It's huge. I picked it up from the post office and it's a carry-on. Guys, this is the most beautiful piece of luggage ever. It's this cream. Look at the zipper on it. And then the handle is also cream and it's padded. I'm so pumped. Look at that. That's gorgeous. There's stuff in here. Oh my gosh. Just thought it was a carry-on. There's like stuff that they packed in here. So this is an amazing, okay guys, the layout of this carry-on is incredible. So I have an away carry-on and I've had this thing since 2016 maybe. I've had it for a while and it's kind of like the bag that's gotten a little bit beat up over and over the years. And Jason used to tour with one of his carry-ons which is like a Samsonite carry-on and that thing got like destroyed. So we really did need a new carry-on because his is like to the point where the plastic shell of the Samsonite is like breaking. So it like is super sharp. And so I thought, why not get a carry-on? And he always uses the away one now so I was like this would be honestly so perfect we're going up to Michigan for Christmas and I'm gonna take this bag I'm so excited so this is amazing I want to show you guys everything because I honestly did not expect them to send anything else just I honestly was just thinking it was a carry-on so it looks like there's a cosmetic case the carry-on bag a water bottle and then a sponge set I don't know what that is so inside the bag though, I'm gonna show you guys. All right, so this is the layout of this carry-on and it is so beautiful. I love the fact that the interior is the same color as the exterior. So this is what the front looks like. And then this is what the interior looks like and they have all this organization stuff so i love that they have these pockets because i've always wondered where to put like bottles of shampoo or like dirty clothes or dirty underwear and i feel like the fact that it has these pockets built in actually will be really nice for separating that and then when you open this up you have this whole side of storage then on this side we've got these like straps that can lock this in but this is another great pocket of storage for any dirty clothes. And then you can open this up. You've got more pockets, the bottom of the suitcase, and then you have 
another pocket. So it's like, there's so many functional pockets in this suitcase, which I feel like the Away suitcase just has one big pocket. And then the other one's just a net that holds the other side down. But this is actually so, so functional. So they sent a few other things and we can open these up as well. All right, so I figured out it actually comes with like laundry bags that you can throw dirty clothes in. So not only are there all those pockets, you also get like dirty clothes bags. And then we've got the cute water bottle. I went ahead and opened it up. Really cute. Love that everything is like neutral and just aesthetically pleasing. And then the last thing is this makeup case, which I already opened up and it has a little pull out mirror right here. And then it has a divider for your makeup brushes. You can put like all your powder brushes here, all your eye brushes here, and then this like zipper pocket in the back and then there's tons of room in here. So I feel like honestly, I'm set. I'm so excited to take this to Michigan. All right, so that was fun, but now I seriously need to get moving because I actually have some stuff I need to get done today. So let's go to TJ Maxx. <laughs> Okay, so last time I was here, they had these cute holiday boxes or these just like cute gift wrapping boxes. And they have some that are like holiday themed. So maybe we'll do that. This one's really cute, but I don't think it's big enough. But maybe I can get this for the housewarming gift. I think either of these would work. I really like this one because it's a little bit more neutral, but it's a little bit shorter than this one. Oh, my card. This one is a little bit like taller. So I just don't know if this might be better because I don't have to worry about the length as much. I'm just really not sure. I should have measured the thing I'm sitting here that's like really long. All right, we're gonna go with uh, this one and hopefully it fits. I think it will. I can't tell if this is like a foot. If this is a foot, it's gonna fit perfectly. If it's less than a foot, I'm in trouble. All right, so I am back in the car and I wanted to show you guys the stuff that I picked out for our friends and then for the Mikel video. So I ended up going with the Joy to the World box. I really hope that it fits, but I wanna show you guys, I got this really cute tissue paper. This tissue paper is scalloped and it has little gold trees on it. So I got like a Christmas theme wrapping. And then I got our friends this little basket, which I thought was so cute. They could put like towels in it or like little washcloths. And then I got them these really pretty sponges because I feel like it just makes a kitchen cuter to have a cute sponge. I got them a kind of Christmassy candle. I thought this was so cool. This is like Tupperware, but it's really cute. So I got them like a really pretty Tupperware. And then I got them a picture frame because they just got married and I figured they would need a frame to put some wedding photos in. So I thought this was like a really cute little idea for a housewarming gift nothing too crazy but just wanted to get them something nice but i hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me the last couple of days if you enjoyed today's vlog please give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite part was if you are new to my channel and you'd like to stick around for some more videos be sure to hit the subscribe button i would love to have you back on my channel and i will see you guys in my next one very very soon bye